Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science, where we take a quick peek into the last week in important and random scientific news. Thanks to Marco Naukat for the suggestion for the name, and thanks for all the other suggestions. Again, the intro is still a work in progress, so we haven't been able to... Okay, fine, we'll just use this for the moment then. Let's jump straight into it. Early on this week, a preposterously wonderful scientific discovery was made, well, kind of, a huge colony of Adelie penguins has been found in Antarctica. Scientists were worrying about this species because apparently they just completely lost 1.5 million penguins. So it was of course up to a NASA satellite to point this out, thanks to the massive amount of bird droppings that it saw. This happened ages ago. The expedition just to check was sent in December of 2015, but it's only just now we're hearing about it. This is of course brilliant news for the Adelie penguin. In other news, and I feel like we may be reporting this every week, but SpaceX has launched again, another Spanish satellite and the largest geostationary satellite that they've flown. Good news for the sharks now, as a new species has been discovered. It was thought to be part of another species of six-gill shark, but genetic analysis has revealed it's its own species altogether. The typically imaginative marine biologists have decided to call this six-gill shark found at the Atlantic, the Atlantic six-gill shark. This brings the total number of six-gill shark species to three. An epic battle has rocked the earth this week, as a tiger trying to fight a sloth bear and her cub got itself into a little bit of a pickle when the sloth bear started putting up a proper fight. Because of the immensely thick hair of the sloth bear, the tiger was not able to get a proper grip that it needed to secure its dinner, and the sloth bear chased it away. So a bit of advice from the Benji Thomas channel, don't pick a fight with a sloth bear, whether it's dinner time or not. Some paleo news for you now, fossils of a tiny prehistoric bird that have been found have been described as the rarest of the rare, and have provided fascinating insight into evolution and the growth of birds. It's around 127 million years old and was around a month old when it died. This fossil itself was found a few years ago, but only now has it been properly studied. And to some more prehistoric bird news, it has been discovered that early Cretaceous ornithurine birds, the group that contains animals such as Hesperonis and Ichthyornis, as well as all of the current living birds, possessed salt glands. This had the function of expelling salt from the bodies of marine birds, and this was found through a hole in the skull where modern day birds have their salt glands. This is the oldest bird that has these kind of structures. And finally, in the UK, red squirrel numbers have been boosted thanks to their predator, the pine marten, which seems to be reducing the numbers of grey squirrels so that their red cousins can thrive. Both of these animals, the red squirrel and the pine marten, have been under close watch in the last few decades because of rapid decline in numbers and near extinction, so the boosting of numbers of both of these species is a double whammy of great animal news. Thank you very much for listening in, and we look forward to seeing all of you on Sunday. Have a great week.